mighty of Jesus Christ. The mighty of Jesus Christ. So, it's no longer flesh against flesh, but spirit against spirit now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You say what? Who? Who are you in her body? I've been around a lot longer than you have been. What have you done to this lady? Mm, does not matter. Speak louder. What have you done to her? It doesn't matter. In the name of Jesus Christ, you have nothing on her. Enough is enough. Never. In the name of Jesus. Fire them with Jesus Christ. Fire them with Jesus Christ. Every part of your body. You have no place in that body. In the name of Jesus Christ. What have you done to her? She's gone. Gone to where? Far away. To where? I don't know. And I what don't are care. the evil you have done to her? Stuff. What are the evil you have done to this lady? It doesn't matter. It matters to Jesus Christ. You are a stranger in her. In the name of Jesus Christ. What are the evil you have done to her? What are the evil you have done? Put her through a lot of shit. What else? Her career? Mm. Not really. Who are you in this body? You do not recognize me? For the benefit of those here, who are you? Introduce yourself, you demon. The most ancient to the tribes of Israel. The prophets. Will you stop the that? The false prophets who stood before the king. Oh, false prophets. That's what you call them. Oh, that's but what I'm they call her. Still. So, how many of you are in her? Me. So, how do you operate? You're a demon. What? How do you operate? Mm. How do you operate? What are the evil you have done? Ruin her life, ruin her family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else have you done? Isn't ruining them enough? What about marriage? No, she's not married. Why? Because I made her gay for a while. So you don't want her to get married? Nah, I don't care about that. Why? Doesn't matter, really. You don't want it? No. I don't want her to be happy. You don't want her to be happy? Do you think I want her to be happy? You don't want her to be happy? No. So for how long have you been existing? Me or in her? Uh-huh. How long have you been existing? Since Moses went up on Mount Sinai to get the Ten Commandments, and Aaron took the gold and threw it in the fire and created the false god Baal. Speak louder! You heard me. Speak louder. Say it again. I am Baal. You are Baal. Yeah. Uh huh. So they worship you. Yeah. So why do you derive joy and destroy? It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. To destroy is fun. It is. You like it. I do. When people suffer. Mm -mm. So what are the evil you have done to this lady? What are the evil things you have caused her to do? Oh, let's see. Made her schizophrenic. Made her not lose every friend she ever had. Um, she was a cutter for a while. Tried to commit suicide a couple times. Okay. You know. You make her to commit suicide a couple to. of times. Tried to, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. 
things happened though and she didn't get there. Uh huh. What other things? Well, I don't know. Stuff. So for how long have you been living in her? Since she was about eight or nine. What have you done to her family? Oh, they're a mess. Huh? Oh, they're a mess. They've all got their own problems and don't rely on him, so it's fine. You're leaving her now? Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. The might of Jesus Christ. The might of Jesus Christ. Come out. <laughs> In the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Be cast out of this body, you bad. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be cast out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out. Be cast out. I command you to come out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. the Lord. So how many of you are here for last night's service? Wow. So many of you can remember exactly what took place last night. What you didn't see in the video is that the evil spirit that spoke out was actually a spirit that was a prophet of Baal, just like from the Bible back in the times of Moses and Aaron. Aaron, the same Baal that was a false god that people were sacrificing to uh, as a golden idol. And so that was the evil spirit that had actually manifested through this woman last night. And now she is here to share with us how God Almighty has set her free. And she's free indeed. Hallelujah. Amen. So first of all, we would like to know your name and where you're from. My name is Casey Anderson and I'm from Dallas, Oregon. So Casey, we just witnessed this intense deliverance that took place last night. And we just want to know from you, what have things been like in your life leading up to this point? When I was about eight or nine, my dad sacrificed me to a demon god. Uh, we learned out later it was a prophet of Baal. Um, but in, during the daytime in the church, we were uh, Christian, holy. And we joined a Christian group that turned out to be a cult. And then... Uh, just kind of uh, took off and dissed on God and uh, suicide, cutting, depression, schizophrenia, bipolar, like really messed up. So you mean to say that you originally started out in a Christian home, but then your family was influenced to join a Christian cult, which then led to uh, crazy things happening in your life. You started hearing voices, you were diagnosed with schizophrenia, with bipolar and other different mental disorders? Yes. So what other kind of things have happened in your life? You mentioned that you were, your father sacrificed you to a demon god. What kind of things were going on in the home um, and in the place that you lived that, would, that your father would want to sacrifice you to a demon god? A lot of abuse was going on around mentally, spiritually, emotionally, obviously. Um, 
I don't really know and remember a whole lot about it. Pieces of it are coming back. I don't think I could handle the whole thing if it came out once. So I'm still piecing it all together. So along with schizophrenia and bipolar and other different uh, mental disorders that you were diagnosed with and were dealing with, what other things have you been struggling with through your life after you were dedicated and sacrificed to that demon god? Uh, definitely a lot of suicide for years and years, a lot of attempts in and out of psych wards, um, a lot of medication, still on it, they think I'm, you know, five times a day. Um, cutting, that was a really big one. And uh, also I led the homosexual lifestyle for about 10 or 12 years, and thankfully last December God took that away. So, so you mean to say that you've been set free? <laughs> Hallelujah. So God Almighty has set you free from the spirit of lesbianism? Yes, he has. Amen. And last night, when you received the deliverance from that prophet of Baal, how do you feel today? Amazing. Like, I slept. I have insomnia, and I haven't slept a whole night in 10 years. Um, like, I feel light. I feel, like, joyful. I told God when I came into this place, I was like, okay, I have a little bit of faith. If you do what I have faith that you will do, I'm going to throw a fleece out there just like Gideon did. And I haven't been able to sing worship to God in over 10 years. So I said, let me be able to do my favorite thing and worship you in song. Because music is it's very important to me. And so... So yeah, last night after the deliverance was the first time in over a decade I was able to sing and praise God. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. So clearly God has been taking you on this wonderful journey, setting you free and delivering you. You mentioned that you had lived a homosexual lifestyle for about 10 years. God began setting you free a few months ago as you rededicated your life to him, growing up in a, in a family that was a Christian cult that led you down this lifestyle of having mental disorders, a lifestyle of homosexuality, cutting suicidal thoughts, wanting to kill yourself, and trying many times and failing. But then God God, after you rededicated your life to him just a couple of months ago, he set you free from homosexuality and last night set you free from depression, from schizophrenia, from mental disorder, and all of the likes? For sure. Amen. Let's put our hands together for a wonderful Jesus. <laughs> Truly the evidence of Jesus Christ is lives changed. As Casey has mentioned to us just tonight, we can see the power of God moving in her life, setting her free, just in the simple fact that in 10 years of insomnia and not being able to get a full night's sleep, last night had an entire night's sleep, full rest, and how do you feel today, Casey? Amazing. Amen, amen, and being able to sing and praise and worship God, because the Bible says that whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Casey, your story is so interesting. It's something that most of us in here, we think, how can that happen to somebody? We live in America, and these kinds of stories are not very common, but you are an American person, born and raised here, and this is what's happening in America. Many people in here, we may not understand this kind of thing, but maybe some people in here know exactly what you're talking about, know exactly what you've been through, and also need to be set free. People who are even in our overflow section, people who are watching us online, who want to be healed and set free, delivered, what advice can you give to them? Believe. If you need, put a fleece out there, but believe. He'll do it. Thank you for watching this content. I hope this was a blessing to you. If you're like me and you like to click on things, click on this, subscribe to our channel, and the content will come to you every time we post it. And remember, the best is yet to come.